Okay, what's up there people, Hunter Spoke Riders here, and I know I'm not 100% done with the backyard. I still got a few more things to do, but I can't really make any moves on the backyard until after the holidays. So I'm right now, I have to move on to something else. Cause Thanksgiving is in like two days. And I am in the middle of trying to clean up a little scrap I sit in the front yard. That's a whole other story by itself. But anyway, I went to Har... No. Why do I keep saying Harbor Freight? Definitely not Harbor Freight. I went to Home Depot to do something about this area right here. They had two little wire shelves. I was going to get these wire shelves. Um, they were black wire shelves. So I put a picture of them, what I was going to get. But the goal is from that toolbox on back I mean I'm, I'm going to keep the fans but to get rid of that because right now I got too much stuff sitting on a, a speaker box with blown up subwoofers and a crack box and all this right here is on a old old microwave cart so this has to go and I want to clean up some of this stuff down here, it's just, you know. So I wanted to get, I decided, I wanted to get a shelf. I was going to get two little wire shelves. But when you go to Home Depot and you see something that's $30 off the original price, sometimes you got to say, forget it, just spend a little bit more to get something 100 times better. I wasn't even going, I wasn't even 100% sure to fit, but I figured I'm going to take a chance. So... This is what I got right here. I know the glare is crazy, you can barely see it, but. This is the shelf I got right here. It's a lot bigger, way more shelf than I need, but you know, it was $30 off. I've never seen it as cheap as it was. So I said, hey, I gotta pick it up. It's almost like an early Black Friday deal. Cause I don't do that standing in line fighting old ladies for Black Friday sale. So I figured I better jump on it while there's still something to stop. Okay, what's up there people? Here's the shelf. I did have to move the punching bag over a little bit and back. But here, let me show you before I get into the shelf. The punching bag was no problem because I have four hooks up there. I put these four hooks up there because I wasn't sure where where I was going to put it next, I use these hooks to hang stuff off on when I'm painting anyway. So that's why there's four hooks in the ceiling, but I just had to move it back and over just to give the shelf a little bit more room, but here's the shelf right here. This is a very, very big shelf. I'm happy with the quality of it, man. It's definitely a way tougher shelf than what I was going to get. <laughs> definitely a way tougher shelf. So, right now it's empty. I'm about to put some stuff on there. And I'll bring this back in once I get this uh, shelf loaded up with some stuff on there. Cause I just drug everything outside. So now I gotta bring everything back. Okay, what's up there people? And here it is. Switched a couple things around the garage. I got two of the bikes outside right now just so I can film this rack here but this is my new Home Depot Husky I guess you could say uh, storage rack looks to be a lot better than what I was I walked in there to get one thing came up on the Black Friday sale and there you go this whack this whack this rack has done a lot as far as me being able to put all my stuff in one location and be able to see it and don't gotta move a whole bunch of stuff and you know, looking for things. And it gives me a little bit more room, a little bit more organization in this very small, tiny garage. But this is the rack right here, man. It's almost full, but I still got a little room left on it. I got that stuff all the way from the floor to the ceiling. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is, uh, this is what I ended up with right here. This gives me a spot to keep all my stuff organized.
Ain't nothing uh, too special, ain't nothing too spectacular about it, but you know. Got all my clamps and vice grips hung up from right there. Just so they're easier to get through. And it kind of freed up a drawer in my toolbox. So I thought that was, uh, I thought that worked out pretty good. Just clamping them all up here. Uh, right next to the toolbox here so they're easy access and I can see all of them and see what side I need just unclamp what I want and I'm good to go so there you have it there's a new setup well as far as the storage rack goes And I'm pretty happy with it, man. I'm pretty happy with the quality. I definitely came up. Uh, it's just funny how things all work out. I wasn't planning on buying this right away because I'm still, you know, I'm still not 100% down with the backyard project. But this is like the first piece of the puzzle as far as the garage upgrades. There's a lot I want to do to this inside of this garage, but it, it, I can tell it's going to be like a never ending battle. But for now, this is the first piece of the puzzle. High Spoke Riders signing out with a brand new storage rack. Home Depot and Husky for the win.